So returning to connecting real quickly, we'll talk about troubleshooting. Most people get stuck at this part connecting. If your account is being run on a domain of one's own instance, be sure that your school has FTP enabled. Be sure you're spelling the host and username correctly. Also, the host should be the name of your primary domain if you're using your default FTP account. Connecting under this will give you access to any add-on domain or subdomain files you have. As for the password, if you're pasting it in, um, be sure that there are no special characters tagged onto it. Depending on which document you're pasting from, it may carry over special characters from that document, such as bullet points. If you're in doubt, um, it may be worth just typing it out by hand. If you go this route, be aware that people often switch up capital O's and zeros, as well as lowercase l's and ones, so these cases require some extra attention. As for the port, if you're connecting via SFTP, it needs to be 22. And remember, you can only use port 22 and SFTP if you're connecting using the credentials from your default FTP account. If you want to connect via regular FTP, or if you're using the credentials from another cPanel account that you've created, you need to use port 21. You also may find that you've connected a couple times, maybe got some of your credentials wrong, and you're sure that you're getting them right now, but it still won't let you in. If you try to connect too many times in a short time span, then your IP will basically be blacklisted, and you won't be able to connect to the server whether you're using the correct credentials or not. To be removed off of this IP blacklist, you can contact Reclaim Hosting support staff within your client area, along with any other questions you might have.